you know, this Russian investigation and all of the um, people being rounded up for this case with Russia being involved with the election, you can tell it's taking its toll on Trump. You know, one big flaw Trump has, no matter how much he claims he's innocent, he displays his guilt out on Twitter. If you are innocent, wouldn't you stay silent and let your attorneys handle everything? This man can't help himself. He keeps going public, and the more he does this, the more he is showing his guilt. I'm going to go ahead and play this video from Press TV. Now, U.S. President Donald Trump has launched a fresh attack against the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, saying the organization's reputation is, quote, in tatters. The president sees it on reports that an FBI agent was removed from special counsel Robert Mueller's team after he was discovered to have made anti-Trump remarks in text messages. The agent had also worked on the investigation into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server. The president lashed out at the FBI for letting an anti-Trump agent lead the Clinton email probe. Also, two days after his former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russia, Trump again denied that he pushed former FBI Director James Comey to stop investigating Flynn. But Trump also denied his team colluded with Russia before his election. And earlier, we spoke to political commentator Gordon Duff on this investigation into the Trump administration's Russian ties. He says the FBI isn't even capable of a probe to get to the bottom of such a complex issue. The issues uh, that some of us have looking at this is that when we've looked at the relationship between Trump and Putin and what Trump has done, we have seen nothing to favor Russia in what he's done. Moreover, we are seeing the hand of Saudi Arabia and Israel not only behind everything that's going on, but behind, and there have been some significant misdeeds with Trump. Uh, he's certainly pushing for a war with Iran for no reason, and he's continually lying about it. He has an agenda here to aid somebody, and that agenda is clearly, to many of us, treason, the FBI treasonous. But the FBI has not had the background. They don't have people with training in international affairs or training in counterintelligence. And I know this personally. I've spoken with them. They, uh, they are behind, uh, behind the bar on this. They are just not capable of getting to the bottom of what is an exceedingly complex story where we don't think anybody is who they're supposed to be. The Russians uh, rigged the election. I don't think that Trump's been in collusion with Russia. And since everyone around Trump is, a, is an Israeli or Saudi puppet, I think we need to look the other direction. And I'm not sure the FBI is going to be capable of doing that. You know what? I disagree with him. Um, from what I, and this is all my personal um, digging on this investigation, Russia has been involved with U.S. elections, y'all, for decades. They've been meddling for decades. So, you know, I don't know where he's getting, you know, that Russia is not involved. I don't agree with that. And I, I think if that were not the case, we wouldn't hear things like Russia being tied to his son-in-law, Russia being tied to Mueller. I mean... It, we're just in, I'm sorry, not Mueller, but Flynn. And it, it, it's too many. And then Jeff Sessions got caught having uh, communications back and forth with Russia. It, it's too much there. So the, he's definitely excluding. Do I think Israel is involved? Absolutely. I, I believe there's more than one country involved. Israel, definitely. Um, and he said Saudi Arabia. I would not doubt that. You know, they have a lot of interest in keeping somebody like Trump in office. You know, he he is somebody that will do their bidding for them. And they know that. 
But it's interesting how he just will not stay off of Twitter babbling about this. You know, nobody can incriminate Trump more than Trump. And if all of this weren't true, then let that come out. If Trump was not in collusion with Russia, why does he keep trying to interfere so much? He just went before the Senate this past Friday to try to talk them into dropping this entire investigation. That doesn't sound like somebody that's innocent. But he just did that on Friday. And we know how he's been firing people and trying to do everything he can to stop this investigation to go forward. That's why you you have to know something is there. Nobody does all of this and goes through all of this trouble for no reason. This man is reeking in guilt. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Trump's latest tweets on attacking the FBI, and this was on December 3rd, 2017. And I will leave the link to this um, YouTube video in the description box. And don't forget to hit on that notification bell. Peace.